researchers use bowls or pan traps or bowl traps or any bowls to catch bees. And the basic idea is that bees are attracted to different colors. We painted bowls, different colors here. We used three colors, blue, a fluorescent blue actually, a fluorescent yellow, and white. And the bowls are set outside. Uh, a little bit of water with soap is added to those bowls. The soap gets rid of the surface tension. Bees are attracted to the color. They investigate. They'll land in the water, not knowing either that that water is there or um, what normally occurs is that when bees do land on water, sometimes they gather water for their nests and things, that they actually will sit on the surface tension. But the soap gets rid of the surface tension and bees are going to slide into those bowls and be captured, basically. And the soap also um, uh, ends up uh, killing the bees quickly, so within a, about a minute the bees have stopped moving. So it's a very effective way to sample bees, and it's used quite extensively. It doesn't get all the different species in general, but it gets probably somewhere on the order of 70-80% of the fauna in an area. And it's something that can be done by um, pretty much anyone, just a few minutes of training and you know how to put out bowls. We'll be going outside in a second, and we'll show you how to do those bowls. But just want to point out one other thing, which is that studies have shown, or studies in the East, uh, Eastern North America have shown that the size of the bowl really doesn't matter. Um, so we've used bowls that are this small and compared them to um, bowls that you can buy in the uh, grocery store or at a party store of different colors, and the uh, number of bees captured is absolutely the same. Um, no statistical difference at all. Um, the thing that does make a difference is color. So you need all three colors because different species of bees are attracted to those different three colors. Um, we've tried other colors um, to about the same effect as those three. So we've standardized on those three. We've also now developed our own paint. So we use a base paint and we add fluorescent pigment to it that we purchase and we have that in our bee manual. You can look that up online. And the reason for that is that gives us a standardized way of talking about color. I can give you an example of those colors, um, or the formula, and then in a hundred years someone can replicate that. So without that, we're not quite sure what's in uh, a spray can of paint because that's proprietary information. Okay, so obviously it's, it's not the summertime, it's winter here. We're doing this for demonstration purposes, so you have to ignore the fact that there's no leaves on the trees. But if it was a good time of year, what we'd be doing is putting out a set of bowls, and I'm using this size here, and the nice thing about this size of bowl is that I can hold the whole set of bowls in one hand, and as I'm walking along, I can pull out the next bowl and pour water. As I come to the place that I want to put a bowl, I can set it down on the ground, and I can keep going, and my speed at putting out bowls is, is, uh, is fixed. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the bowl about three quarters to full. It doesn't really matter. We've done tests to show that anywhere between half and completely full catches about the same number of bees. So I'm going to walk five meters and I've paced out what the five meters is. So I don't actually do measurements to make sure it's five meters. It needs to be roughly five meters. That's why I use a pace and I'm going to pour as I go. So I've got my jug, and I like this particular style of jug with a nice handle. It's easy to pour, and I might be doing several hundred of uh, bowls a day, so I want to make sure it's efficient. So having actually a nice jug of thick plastic is useful. And I've already added soap to the jug, and what I've got in here is a gallon of water. I just use tap water if I'm near a stream off, stream water, and I put just a big squirt of detergent in. You don't have to measure turns out also the amount of detergent really doesn't affect the uh, rate at which bees end up in bowls or climb out. So a big squirt of detergent, make sure it's a not citrus or a non-citrus scented detergent because it turns out that the citrus, citrus scent um, is something that repels rather than attracts bees. So you want something like um, the regular blue dishwashing liquid or lab soap. You can use a variety of soaps. We've used laundry soap. They all seem to work about the same. We've done tests to show that. The only thing that's negative is if there's a citrus base to the uh, detergent itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and put out a series of bowls and then we'll show you how to do the captures. So as I go along, I take my bowl and I pull out the next one and I fill it up. And as I uh, put it down, I'm adding water to it. And then I do paint it. 